Almost every week a natural disaster happens somewhere around the world. We often watch them unfold live on the news, when forests go up in flames, when settlements collapse after an earthquake, and roads and bridges are torn away by landslides, when volcanoes erupt or severe floods wash away our communities under torrents of water. When major disasters threaten, the lives of thousands can be put at risk. Time is of the essence, and rapid, accurate data can be crucial, particularly if search and rescue teams have to access very remote terrain. Today, satellites are some of the most helpful observers on our planet. From orbit, they can see through the clouds, detect storms and fires, and even reveal the slightest movement in the Earth's crust, literally anywhere in the world. However, satellites are always moving. They pass over a region affected by a disaster for only a few seconds and return anywhere from hours to days later. It is unlikely that a single satellite would be in place to witness a disaster when it happens. But there are many satellites circling our planet, each on a different track and capturing different views of our Earth. The chance of getting the perfect picture of the disaster zone is much higher if rescue teams can combine all of these views and pick the best of them. This is the idea behind the International Charter Space and Major Disasters, founded in the year 2000 by the European, French and Canadian space agencies. Providing the best available satellite pictures to help with disaster relief and recovery anywhere in the world, and doing it without expecting anything in return. Today, more countries from all around the world have chosen to commit their satellites to help provide the information necessary to understand the impact of major disasters, what has happened, who has been affected and how to respond effectively. And every country in the world can access this information through the universal access the International Charter offers. An earthquake in Asia. One satellite has provided a high-resolution image of the area before, and another satellite passes over just after the tremor. The images show where homes and villages have collapsed and where roads have been blocked by landslides. Rescue teams have up-to-date information in hours, helping them decide how to access the affected area and where they can do the most good. A volcanic eruption in Africa. Special satellites are configured to observe the lava, smoke and dust and to deliver high-resolution maps of the affected communities. Experts can accurately assess whom to evacuate and where to establish a safe refugee camp. Flooding in Europe. A satellite gauges the amount of rainfall, while another measures the rising water level through the clouds. Yet another satellite delivers the latest map of affected areas, while others track the next storm brewing over the horizon. Citizens can be warned, trains stopped, roads closed, dams fortified, to help manage the worst of the water. We cannot prevent natural disasters from happening, but we can help to manage their consequences. Satellites provide rapid, accurate information anywhere around the world, 24 hours a day. The International Charter Space and Major Disasters is helping to save lives wherever disasters strike.